at the international level. United Nations Conference on Trade and Development Secretary General Rebecca Greenspan has underscored the need for debt relief to offer African countries fiscal space to invest in strengthening their supply chains. In the developing world. And so what we have been advocating is for the reform of the international financial system. Not to weaken it, but to strengthen it to be able not to reproduce the asymmetries that, is, that the global finance, financial system already or, uh, embeds already. And uh, uh, as I said, you know, it doesn't make any sense that uh, uh, the uh, developing countries, Africa in this case, is paying eight times the rates that the European countries are paying for the same debt. So, <laughs> In a way, you know, you, you ask yourself, can I really do what I have to do, paying eight times more for uh, the resources and the financial resources that we need? While acknowledging that infrastructure is a problem in Africa, Paul Akiwumi, director of ANCTA Division on Africa, says private sector can play a role in development of the infrastructure by investing. Infrastructure is a problem for Africa, but Africa is working on this infrastructure and they're working towards improving the infrastructure. Private sector can play a role in the development of infrastructure by investing in the infrastructure. With infrastructure, you're able to get returns. Uh, so private sector certainly can play a role in infrastructure. But the infrastructure has to be purposeful. It has to be for a purpose that you can recoup the money. Infrastructure cannot be simply a road going to the middle of nowhere. It has to serve a purpose, an industry, infrastructure, ag agriculture sector or a mining sector, industry area, so that you can recoup the profits from that as, as the development happens. Reporting for KBC Digital, Christine Mushira.